Hello, hello lovely riders and welcome to another Riderly Wednesday. If you are new here, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button, get that bell going for notifications every time I upload a video. My name is Anjanette Fennell, I'm a former agent and a writing mentor and I'm here to help you get through that Riderly process, feeling good about what you're doing. So in today's video, we're gonna tackle something that's primarily for nonfiction writers, but I think that you can use this even if you are writing a fictional novel as well. So what we're gonna tackle is that challenge that a lot of people, especially if they come from academia, but those who have research heavy content feel when they are writing. It can be really difficult, right? You're going from your research and then you're writing a little bit, and then maybe you wanna fact check yourself what I'm suggesting for you today and probably what's going to get you the best results from your writing ie when a reader reads it whether that be an actual reader uh, an agent a publisher whomever they're going to connect more if you put the research aside and write from here and here rather than from here from a book. What I generally recommend for writers of nonfiction is, I'm gonna guess, you have been doing a lot of research on this topic for a while. Every time you're sitting down to write though, I want you to just go from your research and your research. We want your words. So no matter how many people have written a book about whatever your topic is, and if you write in nonfiction, chances are there are other books in your category, in fact, I hope there are, but we've heard from them and now we wanna hear from you. So what's the way you can do this without it feeling stilted and stunted? Read any research that you want to, to sort of brush up, especially if you start to feel some anxiety when you get to the writing uh, component and you wanna make sure you've got everything in there. Read it the night before, then close those books. And when you get up in the morning or whenever you're preparing to write, you don't open them again. You simply close your eyes. Maybe you wanna have a small meditation before you start your writing session. I want you to relax into it and allow yourself to draw the words from here rather than from outside of you. See how you go. Here's the truth. You can fact check when you're editing. So it doesn't really matter if everything is perfect when you're writing. But what matters is that you as the writer are showing up because that's going to be the difference between somebody loving what you've written and somebody th saying to themselves, oh, that's interesting what they wrote, maybe. The way that this is really similar for fiction authors as well as you will have heard me before if you've been around here for a while, I don't want you to edit as you go. I want you to write what's coming up and later you can fact check it or later you can fill it in. If you're writing fiction, this is true if you've got a setting that is not somewhere that you usually live. I have so many writers who talk about having to go on a holiday somewhere so they can really anchor themselves into the area. Go on a holiday, but it has nothing to do with your writing. You can make it up and then in the editorial process, add those details that you need and want to right? You don't have to do it beforehand. So when it comes to a holiday, I highly recommend you take one, but don't use that as your excuse as to why you can't write certain sections because you haven't done the research yet. I'm saying research and writing are two different activities and you should split them up. So I want to hear from you now, whether you are writing fiction or nonfiction, but especially if you are doing uh, something that is a very research heavy topic. And I know a lot of fiction uh, projects are that as well, especially if it's in crime. I love hearing about people really diving into certain areas. But have you ever struggled with this? Knowing that you wanna make sure that it really has authenticity and truth in it and you're constantly fact-checking yourself as you're trying to write? Have you tried separating it out? And what does that feel like? If you've been here a while again, you know that I'm always going to recommend that you really engage with the flow of your writing. And the only way to do that is to trust that everything you need is here already and everything else that may need to be tweaked or added can be done in the editorial process. 
Let me know how you feel about this topic. Again, if you like this video and this advice, please tick that thumbs up, hit subscribe and that bell, and share it if you know a writer who might be struggling with something just like this. Until next time, I will see you on another Writerly Wednesday. I hope you have a beautiful writerly week. Bye.